Hi students, welcome all. Today we are going to see term 1, chapter 3, matter all around us. Today we are going to learn about what is matter, what are the different states of matter and what are their characteristics. Matter is in three different states, solid, liquid and gas. Solid, it is a thing, it is a substance. It can be a living thing or it can be a non-living thing. Living thing for example, plants, animals. Non-living thing example, it can be a bench, chair, fan, rock, sand, sugar, ice cubes, anything it can be. That solid form should have a definite shape and it should have a definite volume. Ipo ice cube. Ice cube eppidi square shape la. So, this is a solid form. It, it has a definite shape. It is square shape. Rikku. We can able to find the volume of a square using the mathematical formula. So, it has a definite volume. Likewise, every solid form has a definite shape and a definite volume. Liquid, for example, water, milk, kerosene, juice, sugar solution, salt solution, etc. This liquid has a definite volume and it has no definite shape. It takes up the shape of a container. For example, in the ice cubes, water. It has no shape. When we pour it in a tumbler, it takes up the shape of a tumbler. When we pour it in a container, it takes up the shape of container. When we pour it in a jar, it takes up the shape of a jar. So, this water, liquid form has no shape. It has only a definite volume. In gas, for example, smoke, air, water vapor, it has neither a definite shape nor a definite volume. It has no shape, no volume. When this water evaporates and forms a water vapor, whether this water vapor has a shape, water vapor has no shape and also it has no volume. From this we can say that Matter can be anything. It can be in a solid state, it can be in a liquid state or it can be in a gas state. It has a mass. Do you know what is the difference between mass and weight? Mass value will remain constant all throughout the world. Wherever we find the mass value in the world, it remains constant, same. But weight, it varies. So at the center of the earth the weight value will be zero so it varies but mass remains constant and matter has us it takes and matter takes up a space matter it has a three states solid liquid and gas for example plant and animals they are in land they takes up some space in the land bench back stone plate everything where they are they takes up the space where they are water milk when they are in a container that takes up a space in that container smoke air water vapor when they, it is in a room it takes up some space in a room so matter is nothing but it can be anything solid liquid or a gas it has a mass and it takes up some space in biology we have seen that every living organisms plants animals microorganisms all are made up of cells this cell is very smallest, tiny, we can't able to see with our direct eye and it can be seen only through a microscope. Here, in solid there is a living thing and non-living thing, whether it is a plant, animals or a rock, sand, bench, bag, anything it can be. In liquid, water, kerosene, juice, milk, anything it can be. In gas, smoke, air, oxygen, carbon dioxide, any gaseous form, anything it can be. Everything are made up of atoms. Atom Abdina Anu. This atom is a very smallest particle. Cell a rumba chinnadu. We can't able to see with our naked eye, direct eye ala paaka mudiyadu. Or even it cannot be seen with the microscope. But 
Today, the growth in technology, we can able to identify the structure of atom and by using electricity, we can able to map these atoms by using SIM and TEM. SIM means scanning electron microscope, TEM means tunneling electron microscope. So whatever under the universe, everything are made up of these atoms. So this board is made up of atoms, this pen is made up of atoms and our body is made up of atoms, everything are made up of atoms. Now let us see how these atoms are arranged in a solid form, liquid form and gaseous form. In solid state, for example ice cube, the ice cube is in square form, here the atoms are arranged like this. In liquid, for example water, the atoms are arranged like this. In gas, for example water vapor, the atoms are arranged like this. So from the arrangement of atom, we can say that here the atoms are very tightly packed. So here the arrangement of atom is very tight, very tightly packed. In liquid form, the arrangement of atoms is random. So it is randomly arranged and in irregular way. So irregular way. In gaseous form, the arrangement of atom is far apart. That is very tight. Here, there, there, from this we can say that the particles attract each other strongly. That means particle is nothing but atom is the smallest particle. That is simple as the particle. So over a particle is tight arranged. So and the attraction is very strong. But here in liquid it is less than that of solid particles. In our the attraction is very tight and strong. So, this is a little solid compare But gaseous form is very least, very less. It is arranged here. So, the attractive force is very least. See here, the more tight pack is a little space than the particles. So, there is a very little space between the particles. And I inga, anga inga irregular orange air kumoda, the space, edavali vandru, kunjo greater arc, adiham arc, solid compare panamud. In gaseous formula, one the space rumba greatest. Ena, anga inga rumba thali thali irkurpo, the space edavali abdinger the rumba adiham arc. So, from this we can say that the spacing is. Different in different forms of matter. That is over forms of matter. Liyo, over with the spacing. Here is a very small. Here is a little bit of water. Now I am taking a water in a tumbler. Here the arrangement of particle. Particle is nothing but an atom. So the arrangement is irregularly and randomly arranged. The space. You can able to see the space also. In this water, now I am going to put this ice cubes. In ice cubes, the arrangement of atom is tightly packed. When you put this ice cube into water, this ice cube will get melted, it will get dissolved and it forms water. So here the structure will change. So what happens? The tightly packed particles will get collapse and it will occupy the spaces between the particles. So it ice cubes will form water and it will form, occupy this. So this particle of the ice cubes will occupy the space in particles of water. Now we are going to see about diffusion. Now I am going to keep a box in a table. And I am going to take a water in a tumbler. And pour some ink drops in the center of the water. Here. In a room, at one end, I am going to keep an incense stick. Room or corner. After 30 minutes, what happens? The book will be as it is on the table. What happens here? Na center la pota ink drop vandu, it move and it spread itself in water. Tanni la full spread in the tanni vandu, or ink solution. What happens here? 
இந்த ஊதுபத்தியோட புகையும் ஸ்மெல்லும் இந்த ரூம் ஃபுல்லாக வந்து வந்திருக்கும் ஸோ ஃப்ரம் திஸ் வாட் வி கேன் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் இஸ் ஹியர் தேர் இஸ் நோ மூமெண்ட் ஹியர் தேர் இஸ் மூமெண்ட் ஆஃப் இங்க் ட்ராப்ஸ் ஹியர் ஆல்சோ தெர் இஸ் அ மூமெண்ட் ஆஃப் ஸ்மோக் அண்ட் ஸ்மெல் ஃப்ரம் தி இன்ஸ்டிக் ஸோ ஹியர் தேர் இஸ் நோ மூமெண்ட் ஹியர் தெர் இஸ் அ மூமெண்ட் அண்ட் ஹியர் ஆல்சோ தேர் இஸ் அ மூமெண்ட் so this movement is nothing but a diffusion diffusion is nothing but a tendency of the particles to spread out in order to occupy the available space from these three we can conclude that solid particles will not move it cannot move freely liquid particles will move it move easily and this gas particles which moves in a continuous and random motion that means anga inga abdin solli and the smoke udupatti la irundhu povudhu illaya so it moves in a continuous and random motion now we going to see whether solid liquid or gas which is easily compressible and which is not now i am taking three syringe and in first syringe i am placing a chalk powder in it in second syringe i am placing water in it in third syringe i didn't keep anything instead air is filled now i am going to press all these three syringe so what happens this chalk powder which is in syringe 1 it cannot be pressed this water which is in syringe 2 it can be somewhat pressed this air which is in syringe 3 it is very easily pressed so from these three we can conclude that this solid particle which is a chalk powder in syringe 1 it is incompressible that means the solid is incompressible and this liquid is somewhat compressible to a small extent and here this air which is a gaseous form this gas is very very easily compressible okay students this video ends here I hope you understand the concept well. If you have any doubt or clarification, please do comment. In next video, we can see another topic. Thank you for watching.